pre-filming some videos, I decided I wanted to go ahead and sit down and talk to you guys about my no buy. So at the time that I'm filming this, it's not quite four months for me yet, but I'm that confident that I'm not going to be purchasing anything. Really, I'm, I'm that confident. I know that I'm not. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about. I watched uh, Jessica's um, no buy update and it really got me kind of thinking and um, here's my thing. I don't want anything. There's nothing that catches my eye. If it does, it's only for a second or it gives me like a little bit of a twinge and I'm like, ooh, that's so pretty. And uh, I'll give you an example. The Urban Decay Cherry Palette that uh, Elle went ahead and researched like crazy. That one gave me a little bit of a twinge, but I just have to remember it. It's like the Modern Renaissance Palette. It's like so many other palettes. And um, it's, it's, it's concerning to me a little bit. And I know you guys are probably thinking, what, what do you mean it's concerning? Okay, so for me, my history of things have always been if I don't buy something new, then I no longer want it. I no longer, I, I no longer become interested in it and I move on from something else. For example, I had a lot of yarn at one time. I stopped buying it because I had so much. Then I just simply let it sit there for a really long time and then I sold it. I simply sold it all because I wasn't bringing anything new in. Um, and I'm afraid that that's going to happen with makeup. I don't know if it's just because maybe I'm in a little bit of a rut. I'm feeling with my pan that palette. I'm feeling a little bit like every single look is exactly the same. And I'm kind of over it. I'm just, I don't hate it. Because hate is such a strong word. But it's, the look is just simply getting old. It all kind of just muddies together. Um, so I bring in colors to change it up some and that helps but I don't know I don't know I I sort of my brain is kind of scrambled at this point as far as how I feel it's the fear of losing interest in makeup um, but I know that I am far off from that because I fully enjoy Naked 3 I fully enjoy putting on makeup every single day it is my thing I absolutely love it right now um, and I plan on going as long as I possibly can, which I did want to talk about too. My birthday is coming up in October, and then there's the holidays, there's Black Friday, there's all kinds of things. And I looked at the holiday releases, and there's nothing. The Too Faced palette for this year, I compared it to the one that I have side-by-side -side pictures, and there's nothing. It's, it's really nothing. I, it, it, it looks the same to me. There's a couple more blushes, you know, things like that, but it, the color scheme is exactly the same. There's absolutely nothing special about it. So the Too Faced palettes are pretty much what gets to me every single year. And of course the Stila liquid lipstick sets, which I have so many Stila liquid lipsticks and I'm not even interested in it. So I think I'm gonna be able to get through my birthday and Christmas and Black Friday and all of that stuff, I think I'll be able to actually get through all of that just fine. Um, my, my, my fear right now is just I understand that it's rational to say that I'm going to lose interest in makeup if I don't bring in anything new and I think that that's probably why I have two subscription boxes. One of them is Strictly Makeup which is my darling girl. So I think because of that, I'm not going to lose interest. I don't know. I don't know. I know that if I get to the point where I am losing interest in makeup and I'm not enjoying it anymore, or if I feel like it, I might bring something in or I might ask for something for my birthday or something. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of like a rambling, scrambled mess. Um, I feel like I'm not even making sense, but you know, her video really, Jessica's video really made me think about these kinds of things about why do we buy makeup, um, why do we, why do we hoard makeup, why is it important, what is it, you know, it made me ask myself all of these questions and, uh, 
it's just something that's been on my mind so I wanted to go ahead and just sit here and, and say it out loud I guess um but I'm really happy as far as my no buy is going with Clone Wars and everything else whenever I do I pretty much know which palettes I'm gonna have in the very beginning of starting Clone Wars I had no idea what palettes to pull I really didn't know a lot about what was in my collection but now after doing multiple of these um, I pretty much can look at a palette pull out some in my collection and I'm usually pretty right as far as the swatches are concerned as far as duping them so I'm really happy about that so I'm really getting to know my collection more and more um, so I don't know I really look forward to next year and seeing what next year is going to bring because I'm going to be painting a very colorful palette and I have the hiccups excuse me um, I feel um, man these hiccups they're not stopping I really feel uh, with the colorful palettes I really feel the palette I really feel like um, I, I'm not going to get bored so easy I know a lot of people say take a break from the palette blah 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 but that's just not my style I am not going to take a break I just want it done I am very much a pan that look type of you know that's just the type of person that I am so I'll occasionally go ahead and just change things up with different colors uh, in my collection doing pretty much the same look but with maybe a different inner corner highlight or different crease color or something um, I don't know I feel like I'm so rambly in this video but either way I just want to let you guys know I have not purchased any now there has been a few things that I did receive as a gift and it was something that like I didn't expect at all. Um, it was just a few things that I got. I'm not mad about it. I really appreciate it. So, you know, it was something that was a complete surprise to me and I'm not going to do a haul video or anything like that. Um, that's one thing that I am really glad that I have is straight away from is haul videos and um, favorite videos because those trigger me so if they trigger me they're probably going to trigger somebody else so I'm glad that I'm kind of just staying away from those um, but yeah I'm happy with what I did get as gifts so I ain't mad at it I'm, I'm certainly not mad at it um, I don't know I don't know I if I if I sit here any longer I'm just gonna ramble on and on and on and probably say the same stuff so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know how your now why is going uh, hopefully pretty well I'm pretty sure I'll be able to make it five months I mean I haven't quite made it to four months by the time you'll see this video you'll know I made it to four months because if I don't make it to four months you're never gonna see this video and um, but it'll be four months on the 12th. I don't know when this is going to go up. But yeah. It's pretty, It's getting pretty easy. The longer you say no, the easier it gets. That's all I can say. So stay strong. You guys can do this. Let's continue shopping our stash. Using up our makeup. And not letting things go bad. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to go ahead and like comment and subscribe so you can go ahead and follow me along on this no by journey of mine and my project panning journey etc etc bugs bugs it's so hot out there's so many bugs I can't help it I can't help it got a window open over there the fan going everything else so anyway that's it I hope that you I'm going to say it again. I'm not going to say it again. I'm not going to say it again. So I'm just going to say have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys later. Bye.